Hey guys, of course it is not January the 1st, but I wanted to get on here and tell you my weigh in or my starting weight for 2019 and also tell you my goals for 2019. So if you've been following me, you know that I pretty much took the whole month of December off. So any number that I stepped on the scale and weighed wouldn't really be a true reflection of my weight because I probably gained a lot of pounds in December. So what I'm gonna do is use my weight from the beginning of December, which is 167.6. So my starting weight for 2019 is 167.6. And if we compare that to my starting weight in 2018, which was 178.4, that means I lost what, nearly 11 pounds for the year. Uh, and I'm very happy about that. That is crazy that I actually maintained and even lost uh, for a whole year on the diet. My adult life, I've never consistently weighed less year after year, so a 10 pound net loss, I am here for it. Okay, now I wanna get into my goals for 2019. I have five of them that I've written down on my handy dandy notebook. Okay, so my number one goal, 350 days of keto in 2019. So for someone that like took basically the entire month of August and the entire month of December off in terms of being on keto, uh, going 350 days is gonna be so tough, but I'm so excited. And it's just the challenge that I need to keep me on track. You know, as we've talked about, I have a tough time staying on track when I feel good about how I look and how I weigh. I'm like, why not? Especially around the holidays, why not just eat what I want, enjoy myself, blah, blah, blah. But I never feel as good as I should. I know that keto helps me feel better and eat like I've got some sense. So I am pledging to eat keto in 2019 for 350 of the 365 days of the year. So that is 15 off keto days, which honestly is more than once a month. So even if I have one cheat day a month, I should still be able to hit that goal. What I'm hoping to do is go long stretches of time without cheat days so that I can save up my days for the end of the year, which still that would probably be only one week instead of like two months. So I'm doing that and I'm excited because the way that I'm tracking that is with this little document I created. Look at that. It says a year of keto and then I wrote in 350 of the 365 days less than 30 net carbs. Okay, so for this challenge, I am upping my carbs to 30 net carbs, but that's only because I wanna be able to eat more vegetables and that's like a limit. I really do plan to stick most weeks under 20 net carbs, but if there is a reason where I wanna have a keto cheat day or perhaps overeat and that might push me over to 30, as long as I stay under 30, that'll count as an on plan day. Even though, like I said, for the majority of the time, I plan to remain under 20 net carbs. So the entire document is listed with every day of the year and you can see the different shading for the months. So each row has 15 days on it and then at the end I write the total of how many days on that line I was keto. So as you can see here, I'm giving myself a gold star for every day that I stayed on plan and then any day I go off plan, I get a red star. So as you can see, New Year's Day, I was off plan. I had some residual food from our New Year's Eve celebration that I wanted to eat my way through before we got back on plan. So I, that's, I've already used up one of my 15 days already. So on New Year's, but I've been on so far and I don't see myself going off again for a while. Like now that I've given myself this goal, I really want to see if I can hoard all of my days to the end of the year. <laughs> Even more exciting, I have made this document available on my website at www.watchautumnketo.com. It's just a PDF download. If you wanna log on and download it, I would love if you joined me. And as you see here, I love lines for everything, so I'm doing 350 under 30 net carbs, but set your own goal. Maybe your goal might just be 300. Maybe your goal is 325. Maybe you wanna stick strict under 20 total carbs, 20 net carbs. You can make it however you want, but just commit to look at the year overall, to already start and look at the year and think about your plans for keto. Once again, www.watchautumnketo.com. There's a link that says a year of keto download. Just click on it and the PDF will open. Goal number two, I say this 
every month or so, but I'm really gonna focus this year on strength training and yoga. Oh my gosh, you guys. And to show you how serious I am, I'm gonna take you on a little trip to my basement. Okay, so if you've watched me on Vlogmas, you know that I love to work out down here, but let's show you some new additions to the pack. Look at that right there. I got a weight bar, oh my gosh. I'm about to be strength training it up. So I have this bench and bar, and then I got this heavy duty eight foot by four foot workout mat because I was noticing like whenever I was doing squats or like a plank or a push up, anything that required me to really put pressure on my feet for balance, uh, this wood floor makes them slip and I wasn't able to do it. So I got a mat so that I can do all the non-slip exercises at my leisure. And then also I went to a yoga class on New Year's Eve and it was amazing and I'm a changed person. And the funny thing is, I was planning on incorporating yoga into my 2019 workouts before I went to this class. But after going, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm hooked. So I think I'm gonna start going to that class once a week to fit in my yoga. Goal number three for 2019 is all about you. I love Watch Autumn Keto. I love my YouTube channel. I love Instagram. I love this community. I love communicating with you guys. So one of my goals is to ramp that up a little bit. I'm gonna be doing that a little more with the product reviews, but there are some other videos and some other ideas that I have that I really, really want to work on. And I wanna provide you with even more in-depth content about my macros and what I'm eating and my meal plans. I know I show you like an overview for inspiration on my meal prep videos, but I really wanna get more detail to provide more plans. So I'm working on that as well. Goal number four, super not keto related at all. Uh, I wanna work on managing my debt this year. I'm sure everyone says that, and if not, A, you don't have any debt and that's awesome. B, if you do have debt, make it a goal to manage it. <laughs> so if you don't know, I own a beauty salon with my sister and a friend, and we are going on a year and a half open, and it is very successful, and I'm really proud of what we've been able to accomplish because none of us have owned a business before. We were just like, hmm, you know, we should open a salon and I bet it will be awesome. Spoiler alert, it's awesome. <laughs> but also in doing that, uh, we took on a lot of debt and learned a lot about what it takes to start a business and to get it going. So my goal this year for both the business and personally is to beat back some of that debt and get us in a better situation. And goal number five, you guys, like also non-keto related at all, but I want to practice car mi espanol so bad. I love the Spanish language, like, and I've studied it all through school and after school, you know, it's like if you don't use it, you lose it. But every year, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna get back on my Spanish. I have the Duolingo app. I even have like the upgraded version that you have to pay for. And in Enero, I'm like, I got this. Boom, 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 lesson, lesson, lesson. And by Marzo, I'm like, eh, who cares? You know, like I want to stay consistent. I think the problem is I set my goals too lofty. Like I'll do eight lessons a day. And when you're doing easy stuff, like colors and numbers up to a hundred, you can bang through those super easy. But I was getting to the point where it was some more complex lessons. And I was like, this is taking way too long and it's making my brain hurt. So I just quit. <laughs> so I want to work on doing it in smaller chunks, but more consistently so that I can really stay refreshed on it. Like if I could, I would just move to Mexico for like six months, like full immersion. That's a dream. But in the meantime, like I guess I have to use my apps. Another goal is to really get out and immerse myself in Spanish speaking spaces. I get so scared to speak it. I can understand it and I can speak it in small bits, but it's just like so nerve wracking trying to speak it with native speakers and they say something and you don't know what it means and then like everything blows up. Even if I'm just going to a Spanish grocery store or something like that where I can attempt to communicate in Espanol. So that's also my goal for this year as well. Okay guys, that wraps it up. I am so happy I finally got to share these goals with you. I wanna hear all about your goals. What are one or two things you're working on? Five to 10 things you're working on? I would say don't make too many because you know you have to be able to accomplish them. 
but I'm super excited for 2019. I'm super excited to rein it in. Uh, 2017, when I started keto, I was super strict and I really, really enjoyed it. And that's how I found a lot of success. So I am excited to tighten the reins in 2019 and live my best life. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, and monthly weigh-ins, and I'm also gonna be starting those product reviews. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. And don't forget, you can find this document on WatchAutumnKeto.com. Just, if you want, print it out. You can mark it with a marker, you can use your own stickers, anything you'd like, but I would love to see what your goals would be in terms of sticking to keto and follow along with you throughout the year. Thanks, and I'll see you next month.